Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nathan Hance with Enhanced Fishing, and today we're talking Texas rig with a new segment we're calling the Technique of the Week. Stick with us. So like I said, a new segment here at Enhanced Fishing, the technique of the week. I am frequently asked by people whether they're just starting out in bass fishing or um, they're new to the sport, they haven't been doing it a long time. I get asked, hey, what kind of bait do you use? What's your favorite technique to do? Uh, what kind of bait do you throw? What type of knot do you tie? What type of reel do you use? What type of rod do you use? This uh, segment, this little uh, technique of the week, the series is going to touch on all of that stuff. We're going to start out with certain things like today's Texas rig, um, a great rig, a great technique for beginners. Um, and we're going to move up. We might move into some more advanced things, but check these videos out. Let me see what you think. If there's a technique that you want to know about, something you want to learn more about, drop it below in the comments. Let me know. Let me hear about it. So like I said, today is the Texas rig and let's jump right into this. All right, so Texas rig, everybody. We need um, just a couple of things. So I am here in my YouTube creator studio, essentially, which is my kitchen table at our apartment complex. I've got my old, uh, this is my just ugly stick rod with an old bait casting reel I've got. Just so I can show, I'm gonna use this to uh, tie different baits on and stuff to show you guys how to do this, how to tie these things on. So. Realistically, for a Texas rig, you need three things. Item number one, it's gonna be a bullet weight. So I don't know if you guys can see this, try and block it up there. This is a half ounce um, tungsten bullet weight that I've got. It's just one that I grabbed out. I don't always use a half ounce. I would say I use probably, uh, probably a quarter ounce, um, maybe between a quarter and a half most of the time. The next thing you're gonna need is a hook, something like this. This is a uh, two aught or a three aught um, worm hook, offset worm hook, and this is what I use for my Texas rig. And then the final thing you're gonna need, some sort of soft plastic, whatever that might be, um, whether it is a stick bait, like this Yamamoto Cinco that I've got right here, or whether it's some sort of creature bait like this, if you're punching mats or something, um, you can use something like that. So this is a pretty simple, like I said earlier, pretty simple, pretty uh, beginner level. This is not the first technique that I ever learned. The first technique I ever learned was how to crankbait. And that's just because I started throwing it around. But when I started fishing soft plastics, this was the first one that I was taught. Um, it can be fished in so many different ways. But the first thing we got to do is know how to tie it on. So we're going to start with our bullet weight. If we look right here at our bullet weight, you can see you've got a fat end at the bottom and you've got kind of a cone end at the top. Um, if you know how this works, the cone end essentially is going to go towards the top of your rod. So your line goes through. It feeds through just like that. You've got it on your line, free floating there. The next thing you need to do is you need to tie your hook on. So like I said, a lot of people will ask me what type of knot to tie, stuff like that. I personally, I tie a polymer knot on almost everything I do. Um, not every single thing, but most things, that's what I tie. Um, we'll go in, we'll have a video teaching everybody how to tie different knots. Um, I'll see if I can uh, get some, some other knots that I've used and find out maybe some other people's favorites and we'll do a video on that. But I'm just gonna tie this hook on real quick um, using the Palmer knot because like I said, that's what I use. I'm pretty decent at it. Doesn't take me a long time. All right, now, I don't have my scissors with me here at the table. Normally, after you tie that knot on, you're gonna clip this tag in. I'm not gonna do that right now. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna reel this up a little bit so that I don't have so much slack. All right, so step one, we're feeding the bullet weight onto the line. As you can see, this is free, 
floating. This will slide up and down your line as you fish this. Second thing, you're gonna tie on your hook. We've got our hook tied on nice and tight. Guys, this is pretty much it. In regards to tying things on to your fishing rod and setting this up on your fishing rod, this is what you gotta do. It's, it's not that hard. You get, get that little setup going. That's supposed to just sit oh, right down there like that. I hope you guys can see that all right. Um, and that's it for tying things on. The last step we have is putting our bait on. So I'll probably get a lot of questions like, what's the best type of bait to fish with this? Guys, any soft plastic you want. You really can Texas rig any soft plastic. Um, real, realistically, there's so many different soft plastics out there on the market. I've, uh, I've rigged up, like I said, creature baits, stick baits, curly tails, um, swim baits, all, all kinds of different soft plastics. Just get out there and try it out. So how you do this, it's pretty simple. You're gonna start, you're gonna go in to the top of the bait, about a quarter of an inch or so, and then pop that out. So it's kind of nosed on there, it's on, right? You're gonna feed this soft plastic, whatever it is, all the way up, it's gonna round this little corner, come up and pop it over. So should be over your hook there or over the top of your hook, kind of where the eye hole is. And I do it over my line a little bit, over the beginning of that line. So now you've got this and you've got just this worm hanging here. Okay. So what you're going to want to do, I'm going to reel this up a little bit, hopefully so that you guys can get a good view of this. All right. Like I said, guys, the YouTube creator studio for me is this uh, kitchen table here. But we want this, when we, we sit this on, it's going to set like this. And we want it to set straight, just like this. So that as you fish it through the water, it's straight. So we're going to come up. We're going to look at this, and we're going to come up. We're going to pinch this. We're going to bring it through. Now you bring it through. Now, everybody kind of does this a little different. Right now, I've got this in the meat, I've got it in the fatty part of the worm. My hook's not exposed. I can run my finger down here, the hook's not exposed, it's through the fatty part of the worm. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it, most people call this texposing, is to come through, and as you can see, or maybe not see, the hook, the tip of the hook right here, is poked out. So right there is the tip of the hook. Now what you can do with that, you run it down, and then you just pinch again and re-poke it in just a little bit so that you run your finger down, you run across some grass, something like that, um, you're not gonna get hooked up. But guys, that's it. You hook it up just like that, and then you go fishing. So it's a super simple bait, a super simple thing to tie on. Um, you know, it's taken me it's taken me less than five minutes to tie that on and I'm yapping and I'm explaining how to do it to everybody. So it really is a super simple bait. Um, it's great for beginners, a great bait to use starting out. So how do you fish it? Cause that's going to be the next question. Now we know how to tie it on. We've got how to tie it on, but how do we fish it? What's the best way to fish it? Guys for this, I'm going to tell you experiment with it. Don't be afraid to try a little bit of everything. Guys, I started out, um, like I said, my first technique I ever used was a crankbait followed by a spinnerbait. Those were the first two lures that I ever used and I fished them all the time. And then I started fishing tournaments and I was introduced to fishing soft plastics by the two gentlemen that I started fishing tournaments with. And they taught me the Texas rig, this simple rig right here. And I said, well, well, how do I fish it? What do I do with it? What do I do when it's in the water? And one of the pieces of advice that I got was, hey, Reel it back in as slow as you can. Turn that reel as slow as you can and bring it back to the boat. And doing that, I had the most success as a young angler, just slow rolling it, super slow, literally as slow as I could, I would bring it back to the boat. And I caught so many fish that way. Um, you know, as I got better, as I learned more about fishing and I got better at it, I learned different ways to fish it. You can drag it on the bottom, you can pop it. Um, the only thing I'll say that I haven't really done with a Texas rig um, soft plastic is I haven't burned it back to the boat. I'm not just casting it out there and burning it back in. Um, 
That's probably the only thing I haven't done. Other than that, I've done a little bit of everything. I'll, I'll drag it across the bottom, I'll, I'll pop it, um, all kinds of different stuff. So don't be afraid to experiment with it is my point there. Realistically, slow rolling it, letting it drag, popping it a little bit, um, any of those techniques are gonna work. Just experiment with it. Don't be afraid to try new things. Um, it's, it really is a great bait. It's a great technique to be using out there and it's a great one to start out with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this helps you get out there and catch some more fish. Like I said earlier, if there's a technique that you wanna learn, um, something new that you're interested in knowing about, drop it in the comments below, let me know, and uh, we'll try and get it done. We'll try and set up a video for you guys and get it done. So thanks for watching today. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Guys, tight lines, get out there, catch a big one, and I hope this enhanced your fishing experience. Got him. Got him, guys. There we go. First cast with the new bait. Look at that. Like I said, little one. But we got it. Committed.